trigonometric brackets don't expand the same as ordinary brackets in maths. So we're going to have a look at an example here of a question where we need to expand trigonometric brackets. So, first of all, the formulae that we need to know are given either in the formula booklet or at the front of each exam paper, depending on your exam board. So sine of A plus or minus B, that's not sine A plus sine B. There's actually a separate formula for expanding them. So it's sine A cos B plus or minus cos A sine B. And for cos, it's cos A cos B minus or plus, not plus or minus, minus or plus sine A sine B. Now the significance of minus or plus rather than plus or minus is that if we choose the top sign here plus, this one's a minus here. If we choose the bottom sign minus, A minus B, then it's a plus there. So that's important. So let's now have a look at the question. So it says prove that sine of theta minus alpha plus 3 sine theta plus sine of theta plus alpha over cos of theta minus alpha plus 3 cos theta plus cos of theta plus alpha equals tan theta. We need to prove that. Okay, so expanding sine of theta minus alpha. So the question there, sine of theta minus alpha, uh, we get, so sine of theta minus alpha. Well, here this is A and this is B. So just subbing them into the formula there, we get sine theta cos alpha minus cos theta sine alpha and that won't simplify any further now to expand sine of theta plus alpha equals sine theta cos alpha plus cos theta sine alpha then look at the denominator Expanding cos of theta minus alpha, we end up with cos theta cos alpha. Now we used a minus here, so we use a plus here. Plus sine theta sine alpha. And then for the final one, cos of theta plus alpha, cos of theta plus alpha we end up with cos theta cos alpha minus sine theta sine alpha. So now subbing that in that expression, we end up with on the numerator sine of theta minus alpha is that expression there. So the numerator sine theta cos alpha minus cos theta sine alpha then there's plus 3 sine theta then plus sine of theta plus alpha so sine theta cos alpha plus cos theta sine alpha and notice that these two terms here cancel all over so we've got now cos of theta minus alpha so that's cos theta cos alpha plus sine theta sine alpha plus 3 cos theta then plus cos of theta plus alpha which is cos theta cos alpha minus sine theta sine alpha and again these two cancel okay so rewriting it out now you can see we've got 2 sine theta cos alpha equals 2 sine theta cos alpha plus 3 sine theta 
over to cos theta cos alpha plus 3 cos theta. So on the top, taking out a factor of sine theta, we get 2 cos alpha plus 3 over taking out a factor of cos theta on the bottom we get 2 cos alpha plus 3 that divided by itself is just 1 equals sine theta over cos theta equals tan theta as we were asked to show so that's expanding trig brackets for more resources like this and some categorised exam questions, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.